artisan. What the hell does it even mean? Artisan water from Norway. $1,000 vinegar. American. You get to buy a hundred year old vinegar that is a hundred milligram. This is Japanese snack. This is really weird. This is so weird. Cheese and scallops. Last time we made a video at City Super. That was the first video that I got a lot of likes. So I'm doing it part two. This is a little less than $20. 20 milligram of a Japanese apple juice. Today's holiday. People don't really do grocery during the holiday. I don't know. Am I the only one who does grocery during the holiday? These pomelo. This is around 30 American dollars. This is all the pasta area. You've got pasta sauce really coming from Italy. And we have pasta sauce from uh, France as well. I mean, those are tomato. And then you have a lot of more fancy items here. I can't remember when I was in Canada, where would I buy these things? extra virgin olive oil. <laughs> Let's look at how expensive they are because I know they're expensive. I buy this one. This is the cheapest. This is a store brand. This alone is um, 10 American dollars is already the cheapest one. Now, that's not expensive, but it's big. This alone, $10. This is close to 20 American dollars for this bottle. It's not crazy. I mean, it's definitely expensive, but it's not crazy. This is around 30 American dollars for olive oil. This is more than 40 American dollars. Ah, I guess that's it. This is the most expensive olive oil here. This vinaigrette is 4,000. This is 4,880 dollars. 50 years old silver reserve balsamic vinegar. Oh my god, I'm such a peasant. Cantonese have a saying, my poverty limits the way I can imagine because I thought 60 I mean $60 for a bottle of vinegar is expensive but this is 600 more than $600 for vinegar this however is why I'm here $1,000 vinegar American you get to buy a hundred year old vinegar that is a hundred milligram I think someone else someone bought that I use the store brand one I'm going to show you in a second. It's much cheaper. It's very tasty still. I do have to say the more expensive they are, the tastier it is. I got to taste some of the best vinaigrettes uh, from Italy and they are tasty. It's just too expensive. Now don't look at the price because they have a cheaper ones for peasants again. It is a lot. Where's their own brand? They don't have it here in this shop. Their very own brand is a lot cheaper. This is their own store brand for 20 American dollars. A little bit more than 20. This is 150 Hong Kong dollars. So a little bit more than $20 this is really nice. It, sometimes I have thought it tastes like balsamic vinegar with sugar, but it is different. I don't know if I'm just telling my brain that it is different or it is really different. I do like it. You can try it. Put it in with your meats. You can go, it goes with beef, pork. I use it for fish. I love that. It's much better than a lot of really processed sauce. Have you ever bought 60 American dollars salt? This over $60 gift set, you get a set of salt. Java long peppers, one, two, three, four, five kinds of salt. Salt grinder. And this is the best thing. They are conversation cards about salt. This one is more expensive. $528. You've got that's one kind of salt, two kinds of salt, and chili taster, and pepper taster. Why is it called pepper tasters? Are people going to put some in their hands and then going to taste it? Who does that? Rich people. Rich people does that. I don't. I was thinking, you know, that's the pepper I was thinking about. I mean, any normal people would just think about this kind of pepper for only a hundred and eighteen dollars this is the worst angle can i do this so i was saying <laughs> I like this. <laughs> hold on so people come here because they have all kinds of stuff they have things from all over the world i mean i said that last time but they do have many kinds of things that you can imagine. Literally whatever dish you want to prepare. You can just drop in here and you can buy it. Any kind of things. You want to bake, 
I mean, okay, that's normal. You can go to any supermarket all over the world and you can get flour and all those type of things. But if you want Korean food, you can get Korean food. If you want, I want to say European food, that sounds <laughs> racist. If you want Italian food, you can buy Italian food, like really made in Italy, not just Americanized Italian food. If you want to make French dishes, food, you've got chicken from all over the world. Let's look at just the poultry section. This is an extensive choice of chicken. You've got chicken from France. This chicken is around $20. You can buy quail. quail. Why is it so hard to say? You can buy quail fillet. And then the little spring chicken. You can buy duck liver from Spain. Frozen duck breast from Spain. France really exports a lot of chicken. And then you even have IKEA chicken. I mean, Sweden. Swedish yellow chicken wings. I didn't know they sell IKEA chicken here. They have quails from China. And then next to it, they have partridge. Partridge. I don't remember seeing them in Canada or in New York when I was there. Can you buy it in Whole Food? I mean, come on, quail and partridge in a normal supermarket. I don't know why I talk as if I own this place, but I'm just really happy living in Hong Kong. This is one of the reason of just being able to buy food from all over the world. I love choices. Having a lot of choices makes me think that I can choose whatever I want to eat every day. You know, these kind of eggs, black eggs, that sounds really strange, but they're black eggs. They are really chewy and tasty. They are marinated in different sauce and soy sauce. This is from Taiwan. And then you can buy quail eggs. So these are all kind of juice. This is again the gift set. What did I tell you? We love gifts. You can buy coconut juice and alcohol. You can buy alcohol easily in Hong Kong. Even, even beer has gift set. Look, this is Orion beer gift set. For $20, you can get 12 beer for well, 12 different beers six cans of each i think there's a dark yeah dark beer and the draft and then a really special cup that changes color when it's cold and then you can buy all sorts of milk here if you want to buy drinks here you can get japanese coffee tea you can buy a bottle of coffee like this this is strip coffee for ten dollars this is a bottle of strip coffee. Would you buy this? I keep on asking because I probably won't. I suppose if you're having a party, you know, if you... Oh, you know why I would probably buy one of these is if... Um, no, I want to say if I'm making tiramisu, but these are just drip coffee. They're not espresso, so maybe not. We love drinking tea, so we have bottles of tea here. Snow fungi. I thought this is a Cantonese thing. I didn't know Japanese drink it too. Is it from Hong Kong or Japan? Oh, it's from Taiwan. Oh, yeah, it's from Taiwan. Boba tea in can, which this is really funny. How much is it? Nah, a little bit more than $2, I suppose. A lot of protein drinks. They're not expensive then for around five American dollars. <laughs> vinegar drink this is a little bit more than $25 for a bottle of vinegar no vinegar this one I don't know I have never bought this one. yeah we have water from all over the world you have Fiji water okay you can buy it from most part of the world and then you've got a lot of different water from Japan look 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 Italian water the nude one is from Sweden and then we've got France Japan again. Where else do we have? This one is Scotland water. I feel like we're traveling around the world just with water. Do I see any other places? Artisan. What the hell does it even mean? Artisan water from Norway. Did someone make this water? What is artisan? Artisan is like bread when someone has made it with their hands. Yo, it's, I mean, come on. Artisan water, seriously. This is from United Kingdom. I was told by a chef before the reason why people would buy water from different parts of the world is because it depends on the area. If it's from different mountains, you have different minerals deposited in the water, so the water would taste different. It's going to be Christmas soon, so I look forward to Christmas seeing those crazy hampers. I think it will be really fun. 
I want to see how crazy it gets. Like how fancy does it? If you're into the Japanese style of baking, they have different, you know, Japanese flour. And this is dried ramen fruits. 24 leaves for a little less than $5 for some leaves. I should have picked some when I was in Japan. As I said, we love gifts. And here it goes. These are rice crackers, 600 grams of rice crackers. Now they're really pretty with a really pretty box. Again, I think we're buying the design of these boxes than really the food. Because this is around 40 American dollars for 315 Hong Kong. You can get all sorts of rice crackers. I don't care how tasty they are for 40 dollars though, really. You've got soy sauce one, plum one. You've got matcha. Uh, oh, this is a gift section. Perfect. I look forward to this in Christmas. I think it's even bigger in Japanese culture to buy gifts when you visit someone. It's absolutely in our culture as well to buy gifts for people when you're visiting them in their home, at their home. Let's look at the snacks. Mm, gifts are not that amazing at this point. This French. French butter cookie for 320 grams, which is not a lot. This is $30. You can also buy fancy tea. Fancy tea set for a little less than $100 here. We'll line the snack section. This is the Japanese snack section. This is Japanese snack. This is really weird. This is so weird. Cheese and scallops. Cheese and scallops. I already know I won't like it. You got scallops here. Yeah, this is the kind of you know snacks that we would do. What is this? Chicken wings. What is it? Oh, grilled squid. This is chicken wings in a pack. <laughs> this is a bit weird. And fried fish skin. And fried fish skin. Why does it sound like a tongue twist? Oh, salmon skin chips. You know, dried fish. Why not? Oh, this is dry eel. I've never tried this. You have dry shrimp as a snack. Little fishy. Japanese like eating it with beer. These are beer snack. You can get it in bars in Hong Kong. We have a lot of seafood snack pack. These are squid. Salmon? I don't think that's salmon. These are clams. Now, honestly, I've never tried this myself. But I'm sure they're tasty. It says sake snack. I don't know if it's made with sake or it goes with sake. But yeah, grilled clams. Well, they shouldn't just put it there. And you can buy beef. You can buy crabs. That's quite cute. You can buy dry crabs here. They're very tasty but very bad for teeth, especially these ones. My friend who is a dentist would absolutely tell you not to eat these things as snack. They can crack a tooth or more. The weirdest thing here, we ate this when we were kids and we loved this. A little bit less than five American dollars for this much of tuna candy. Tuna candy, that's how I describe it because this tuna is cooked with soya sauce and a lot of sugar. Why kids love it? Because it's sweet. So this is really tuna candy. What else is interesting here? Popcorn. I don't know how to describe this. I love the sake ma. We call it ma zai in Cantonese. Shashi ma. Uh, it's kind of pastry. It's like honey twist, if you may, but crunchier version of it. It's really nice. These are deep fried pastries. Peanut flavor. It actually is made with peanut. This is the best peanut butter I've ever had in my life. Like the best. I have had many different brands, but this is the best. They also have real cheese. What? Wait, I'm not making it up. It's, it's baked cheese with fish meat. Why is there a sheep on top? Oh, I guess it's, it's sheep cheese. But it doesn't say it is, though. Oh, no, it's a cow. Sorry. It's a cow, not a sheep. But come on, it looks like a sheep. This is the cheese. And this is the fish part. I have had snacks like this, not the cheese part, but this part. It's made with fish meats and some flour, so it doesn't taste as weird as you think. It's quite nice. I'm just not sure about the cheese part. I guess kind of like bread with cheese, it's just a bit weird. 
I don't know if I want to buy it. Actually, you know what? I might have had this before because I surely had something like this, which is also always、oh, exactly that.、So、I guess I have had this before. It's not as weird as it sounds. The fish is basically, if you think of it, is more just like a soft flat bread. It has some fish meat in it. It's tasty though. Again, it's like candy. It's like candied fish. Sounds really weird. I'm not making it more any appetizing than than it is. You god, nuts here again. A lot of Japanese Japanese snacks. We also have lays. We do is fish skin. You're not seeing it wrong. I want to show you instant noodles. I know instant noodle isn't that special, but <laughs> this is very Asian. We have instant noodles like no others. This I think these are Taiwanese instant noodles. Yeah, they have a vegetarian instant noodles,、um, sesame chicken, beef, and then you have a lot of Korean ones. Where are the Japanese ones? These are cup noodles. These are also just. Then you have these are pho, the, the Vietnamese. Whoops, the more Taiwanese ones. Oh, where are the Japanese ones? Oh, here. See, that's the reason why. It's not put together because they have all these. These are all instant noodles. The point of this shop is not to sell you cheap stuff, but special stuff. What do we have? Three dollars. Three dollars instant noodles. These are a bit more expensive, but they're really special. I love Japanese instant noodles. This is around four American dollars. You can also buy ramen here. This is around thirty dollars. This is funny. <laughs> They are so pretty. This is again gift set. Six noodles for forty dollars. This is a lot more expensive than pasta. Speaking of pasta, let's let's look for the pasta. This this is Japanese pasta. It's not counted. We want to find the Italian ones. Just to show you, this place. It's not aimed to sell you cheap stuff. <sighs> How do people do these、uh, vlogs? That's I'm just tired making two of these. Not here. Where is it? Pasta. Oh, here. I don't know if pasta is this expensive in Italy. Now this may be called artisan because they are actually handmade, not water. This pasta, five hundred grams, for uh fifty one dollars. But come on, five dollars! I don't remember buying pasta this expensive when I was in Canada. This is handmade colorful pasta, linguia di suocera. No, I don't know how to read this. So this, how many sticks? Around ten sticks of pasta noodles for around nine dollars. I know for sure these are not even the most expensive ones. I've bought these before. This is whole wheat pasta, and you can tell that they're high quality pasta because of the surface area. It looks a lot more matte instead of shiny. You see, there's a white layer on top, so they dry naturally, and they would、um, absorb the pasta sauce a lot better. I mean, they're cute. I've never seen this half moon pasta. It looks really cute. I think you stuff stuff inside, right? Yeah. Again, oh, this brand is really good. I bought it before. Top pick, yeah, it's honestly really tasty. It's got a really nice bite to it when you cooked it. Believe me, they they do taste different. Maybe more the bite, the taste, the flavor. I want to say nice. It's got a bit of sweetness from wheat, but it's it's the bite to it. If you look at the protein content, now I don't know it officially, but I noticed that a lot of Pasta that has very good protein. Oh no, this one has only eight gram. It's not really that high. I like the pasta that doesn't get very soggy easily. These pasta usually can hold its texture a lot better than the cheaper one. This is already the cheaper one here. This is four dollars. They're already cheaper, but definitely the more fancy artisan ones. They have much nicer texture. Four slices of raisin bread for four dollars. So one dollar per slice of bread. This is actually more than eight dollars. 
This is a little cheaper. It's around three dollars for four slices of bread. This is cheaper because it's white bread, and we like matcha so much. I saw a couple earlier right there in the corner. They were looking at the Stanley cups, you know, those really fancy water bottles. And the boyfriend said, "Did you hear what you just said? You said I want to make cold hot water." Do you want to hear yourself? I want to make cold, hot water. <laughs> and then he just walked away. I don't blame him. They've got a lot more cheese here than my area, and that's what I meant. Most of the time, they don't sell the cheese. They don't actually get sold. So then they're half price, and I love buying the half price cheese because they're too expensive. Even for this one, this is already the cheaper one. This is a little bit less than twenty American dollars for this much cheese. Royce is a really popular brand of chocolate. My family love gifting these. Oh, that's really cute. It's Halloween season. Well, season is a weird word. Uh, black sugar chocolate. These artisan chocolate. It's around twenty dollars for a few chips. They are very tasty though. These butter cookies for again a little less than. Twenty Americans, but twenty-five pieces of this. I still think the price is crazy. See what I said? We love this. In Japan, you can find even more of these gift sets. It's just people love gifting this. I especially love these chocolate sticks. This is matcha chocolate stick, nutty bar chocolate. Oh, they're so good. One time I had such tough work. I really needed some treats, and I bought myself that. It was really tasty. It made me happy. You can also buy food here.、Um, the salads aren't really that great. I don't know. Some are good. Some are not as good. So you can buy these salads. Forty dollars for a hundred grams. So five dollar for a hundred grams. They're just okay. I have to say, City Super Salad is already the better salads around town. Um, yeah, so if I really, really want some salad, I remember one year I was working so much, and at night I was eating out all the time, and it's always you know fast food because I had like forty minutes to eat, and I had very tasty things, but they're all meat. So I would buy these salad just so that I have some vegetable. This is less than this is a little less than thirty American dollars. What could this be? Charcoal, a box of charcoal. We had one of these when I was a kid, but not these fancy ones. So it's much smaller one. I hope you enjoy this fancy grocery store tour part two. And if I see any more interesting things, maybe, maybe around Christmas time when they have all these crazy hampers, I'll do another one.、Hello. And that's it for today. Bye. Wait, remember to subscribe. If you have not subscribed, you should. Well, if you want to see more of Hong Kong. Hong Kong culture, Chinese culture, or me. I'll see you next time. Bye.